Welcome to my unboxing of the ADATA 60 gig M SATA SSD XM13. So this is, as you guys can see, a bit smaller than a typical SSD. So uh, here's a two and a half inch SSD for reference. The whole box is like the size of a regular SSD. So what is this for? If you don't have an MSATA slot, then it's not real relevant to you. But if you do have an MSATA slot, then it's very relevant to you. Stands to reason, am I right? There you go. That's the whole size of the... There's a whole SSD in there. MSATA is basically a standard of SATA that takes the standard size connectors and makes them even smaller. So it is actually here. We're going to go get a SATA cable as well as a SATA power adapter of some sort. Here's one. Pin for pin. This is pretty much the same darn thing as SATA, except that you can clearly see that that won't fit. And then you can clearly see that this power cable is not going to fit. See how the spacing is much wider in here? Can you see that? Than here? So-so? Cool. Okay. So MSATA SSDs are great for very, very small form factor, low profile uh, notebooks or netbooks. Great for using as... Um, you know, a low density boot drive because this is only 60 gig. MSATA SSDs can only be so big because you've got only room for four flash chips on the whole drive itself. So there's two over here as well as the controller. So actually here, I'm just going to peel that for a second. It has a Sandforce. Oh, wow. This is a Sandforce controller drive. Cool. SF2141. And then you've got four flash chips running off of it. Now it is also useful on the desktop for a certain particular application. Most people don't want a 60 gig boot drive these days. I think Slick needs to sneeze, so we'll just take a break. So it's also useful on the desktop if your motherboard has an MSATA slot, just like this Gigabyte one right here does. Bam! I just installed an SSD, which is, okay, it's neat, it's cool, you know, it's cool but it's mostly useful for Intel Smart Response technology. So if you're on a platform that supports it, that is Z68 or woo, whatever platform this is that I don't know what it is because I might release this video before the embargo date. Uh, as long as it has a mini, uh, oops, <laughs> an MSATA slot, then you can uh, cache your boot hard drive or even another hard drive. Maybe you have a separate hard drive, a storage drive that you have Steam installed with all of your games on. You can set up your MSATA drive to cache that drive so whatever games you play most frequently will be cached in your SSD and the ones you don't use as much can stay on the bulk storage of your hard drive. So that is a very cool way to use it as well. Things like shuttle bare bones PCs often include them. I know their Z68 one does so you can throw this in on those as well. So this is going to become a more popular feature moving forward, but if you want to be an early adopter, then ADATA and Gigabyte, not this board, some other board that you've never seen before, might be the way to go. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.